If you are a tech enthusiast like me, you've been probably thinking about it. You've been scrolling on your phone or on your computer, watching some videos and want to find out for yourself. A graphics card from AliExpress all the way from China to here? Is, is that worth it? So I've bit the bullet and bought a graphics card from China. So it's time to unbox it, see if it works and maybe run some benchmarks. First of what I noticed is that the graphics card is really well packaged. So it came in this plastic bag with some tape on it. But if you take it out of the plastic bag, you get this something really squishy. Like it's like an airbag, I guess. So yeah, this is what you get. And let's open it up. So this is how I got it straight out of China. And this is the graphics card box. So what graphics card is inside? Well, it's really weird because what does this look like? It looks like an NVIDIA card. I know I didn't order an NVIDIA card, but it looks like an NVIDIA card. But this is the name. All right. I've ordered a RX 5600 XT. But it's funny because it looks like an NVIDIA box. So let's unbox this bad boy. So here we have the graphics card once again. It's from a brand called Milsey, I think. How do you pronounce it? But I'm not entirely sure. Let's open it up. Uh -oh. So this is just an outer box, it looks like, yeah. And this is an inner box. Now it's just a brown cardboard box. This is what I originally expected when I ordered from AliExpress, just a blank cardboard box. So it's really nice that they give you a fake Nvidia outer box, I guess. Here we go. Ooh, that looks like a graphics card. Let's see if there's something else. I'll put the graphics card away for now. You get a user manual, how to install the graphics card, I guess. A quality assurance card. Oh my God, the system requirements are so funny. A Pentium 4, Celeron, AMD, Athlon, Sempron or above. Okay, okay, good. And a lot of Chinese that I do not understand. And there are some screws, probably for if you're missing screws or something, so you can fix them yourself. So that's nice. And let's unpack the graphics card. Oh boy, here you have it, the graphics card. It has also the Milsey branding on it, it looks like. It's a pretty thick card. It has one PCIe power connector, so it needs external power. It has a backplate, which is plastic. There is a little sticker on the, on the backside. It tells that it's a 5600 XT with six gigabytes of RAM and a serial number. And that's it. Other fun thing I see is that the PCB you see there that ends, but the cooler extends for a little bit more than the card. Oh, damn, you see some copper heat pipes as well. That's cool, that's cool. Let's see those golden fingers. I don't know if it will focus on it, probably not. Oh, there you go. So those are the golden contacts. They look good, I think, from a first glance. Let me. They look good. Yeah, the cooler looks quite, quite intense. And as I said, this cooler is bigger than the PCB. It's a RX 5600 XT, so it should handle 1080p gaming pretty well. And I'm really interested in, to see that. So I'm gonna grab my personal PC, remove the RX 6650 XT that I have, and place in this card. I know it's a downgrade from my current card, but this won't be my main graphics card. This will be for an other project. So let's hope that it works. So this is my PC right now in all its glory. It got a Ryzen 7 5700X in it, 32 gigabytes of DDR4, I think 3200 megahertz in it. And the graphics card you see there is a MSI Mac RX 6650 XT. And I'm gonna change that out now for the Milsey RX 5600 XT. Okay, let's see if I can show it to you guys. I'm also on a tripod, so it's not working great, but right there, as you see right there, that's the new graphics card. To make sure, I'm walking to grab my personal graphics card, so you can see it's the other one, and I don't have any other graphics card because I'm not made out of money. So yeah, this is my personal graphics card. The RX 5600 XT is inside right now. 
and I'm really interested in if it, my PC right now will boot. Let's see. I've just pressed it on. Everything is turning. The computer is blinking. So that means that there is a video. Hell yeah. It's maybe a bit blurry, but there is video. Okay, okay, let's go. Let's see if I can log in. And I'm logged in right now. Let's see if I can open Task Manager and see performance. Oh, no. Oh, screen is blinking. It's probably grabbing the right drivers right now, I assume. Okay, this can go. There you see it, probably. The AliExpress RX 5600 XT booted in the computer and it looks like, well, it's running. So I'm interested in a few things. I'm not sure if I will move over to screen capture because maybe I should. Let's see if screen capture even works. So I'll move on to screen capture for now. You should be able to see the RX 5600 XT seems to just work fine for now. I'm gonna install Furmark, I think. I am so hyped that this is working, by the way. Holy Furmark, let's run it. So right now we're stress testing the graphics card with Furmark. But besides that, I'm also recording. It's getting 108 FPS. I'll need to have a look what the average is. For now, I'm really interested in the temperatures and also how loud it will get. So let's wait for a little bit. I'll wait like for four minutes maximum. So I've run Furmark a couple of times. That's why the timer is at three minutes. When I looked at the past runs, the GPU temperature always stayed around 80 degrees, but I've checked AMD Adrenaline and the fan speed is set to maximum of 65%. So you can up that and as you see here the fan speed is just on 55 percent right now the graphics card is a little bit audible it's not loud but it's mainly because i'm sitting next to my computer as well my computer is on the same desk as my monitor a thing to consider would be to just up that i've checked the fps right now it's lower than a normal rx 5600 xt normally it's around 113 and right now we're averaging 108 i was averaging 112 before recording but obviously when you record and doing multiple things at the same time it obviously will lower your fps a little bit but for now everything looks fine the temperature yeah the hotspot temperature is a bit high but nothing that i'm personally uncomfortable with so i'm I'm gonna just close this one off. If you wanna change it or you don't like it, whatever, you can just change it. You should do whatever you think is the best for you. So right now we have AMD Adrenaline open and we're in the performance tab. And I do wanna enable a overlay with graphs. That would be nice. So we'll see the GPU clock, GPU power, GPU temperature, GPU hotspot, and GPU fan and GPU voltage and the FPS up top, that's amazing. If you're an avid viewer of the channel, you'd probably know what I'm going to open. Keep in mind that I'm recording as well, so the FPS could be a bit lower than real world performance, but let's open the finals. That's the game that I mainly play. We're gonna play it in 1080p and we're gonna see what Graphical settings are working good. Well, graphical settings are not as fine. We'll have to check that out. So this, by the way, everything that y'all are seeing with me, this is my first experience with this graphics card. I've never tested it, opened it. I just wanted to record everything and see how it goes. So I've been using the video card for a bit right now. And I've got this score in Furmark when I overclocked the GPU just by using the AMD, AMD Adrenaline software. So just simply by going to performance, tuning, and I just pressed overclock GPU and that did the trick. And that's what the, that's the score I got. And this was the score I got. It's a little bit lower um, when I undervolted the GPU, but um, it got a bit colder, um, even though the max temp here and the max temp here are the same. 
Uh, I noticed that through the run it was a bit cooler. Right now we're playing the finals. If you're an avid watcher of the channel, you know that I love this game. I don't know what is happening in this game, but it's locked at 75. And I am not able to change it for some reason. We'll go to the settings. I'll show you the settings I have. Field of view. I'll, I'll put the render resolution skill to 100%. Everything is on high. And let's see how that goes. Settings, video, resolution skill, field of view, everything is on high. And everything is on high now. So that's it. And if we look at this, we see that the game approximately gets 68 FPS in high settings. Looks pretty good for 1080p. Everything is nice. The game feels smooth. That's also quite important so let's see if we can try that to kill that person no we can't we'll try again nope i died because someone got behind me as you can see the gpu utilization is quite high um so we are taxing the gpu quite well we can try to go on to video 1080p epic settings to see how that goes in a bit I'm really interested in that. My whole team died, but when I'm like flying through the map with the kill cam, as you can see, it's around 50 FPS. And that's really okay for epic settings. I mainly play in me on medium anyway. So I just, you know, want the smoothest, the smoothest performance. And that's basically... But right now we're not even like playing with FSR or any upscaling. This is just straight up 1080p on epic settings. I'll change it now to medium settings. I've seen that medium settings with view system on Epic, uh, view distance on Epic is the, uh, I'll just say the sweet spot it looks like. So when I do that, it's just locked 75 FPS. So that's really nice. As you can see, the game is really smooth. This, these are the, the best settings I've played with right now. And I would recommend y'all to play with as well. As I said earlier, talking and at the same time is not my strong suit at all. So this is just for the performance. Performance wise, works like a charm. Um, so yeah, really, really good. So all right, let's recap. This graphics card is quite frankly a beast, especially for the price I got it at at like around 130 euros, including tax, which is in the Netherlands, 21%. If you can get this card next singles day or next Black Friday for around the same price, it's a good card. Um, performance wise, it did really well in the finals and that's my benchmark because I'll mainly use this card to play the finals. I'll have another project with this card, don't worry. So you'll be seeing it again for sure. The Furmark score, I got around 116 FPS uh, when overclocked and when undervolted, and that was really nice. I got 114 FPS average, which is also good. That means that uh, I can undervolt it and run the card a bit cooler. I didn't really overclock myself even further. I just pressed the overclock button in AMD Adrenaline and everything worked like a charm. I'm really happy about that. So yeah, would I recommend buying a graphics card from AliExpress? Time will tell. For now, this is my first one and it worked really well. Um, this does not guarantee, however, that this card will run really well in the long term. Um, this card is probably, I'm not sure, but this card is probably mined on for crypto and that's how they flood the market in, uh, on AliExpress and why they are able to sell these cards for so cheap. If you have like a spare couple of 20, 30 dollars maybe, I would recommend to buy the RX 5700 XT if you're able to afford that one because if you also want to be like playing a bit on medium to low 1440p gaming, that card is way better than this card. However, for 1080p and if you're not able to find a RX 5700 at that price, this is a pretty good card. Be sure though, be sure, last thing I'll tell you and then the video is really over, but be sure that if you buy on AliExpress, you always try to use a coupon because there is always a coupon on AliExpress. So be sure to use those because those made this graphics card, which was originally 160 euros, 130 for me. And that's including tax, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Apparently AliExpress graphics cards are not always a scam. Yeah, maybe one last thing. If the card looks too good to be true, 
then it's probably a scam. But, but price-wise, I was like, yeah, fair, this card should arrive. So would I recommend it? Not entirely sure, but is it cool? Did it work? Definitely. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, don't forget to leave a comment if you have any other questions and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.